Hello friends, welcome back to the talk and uh, session 8 of Docker. In this uh, session, uh, I will explain how we can pull the pre-built WebLogic server image from the Oracle official container registry and then how we can start the admin server container. Okay, so in the session 5 and 6, I have explained in detail how we can pull the uh, images from the official registry okay and where, where i have explained about how you can pull from the docker hub how you can pull from the oracle official container registry okay so in this i am going to repack again okay i will just show you how you can download the you know, the oracle weblogic image from the oracle official registry okay and then how you can start your admin server container so all these exercises i am going to perform on my ec2 machine aws ec2 machine so let me first start my machine so i intentionally break it down whenever i complete any demo so to avoid any unnecessary cost okay so let me start my this t2 large image of linux okay and in between let me show you what i am going to explain you in this exercise okay so this is the screenshot of one of the slides from my previous sessions okay where we have explained discuss about the official image and the custom images okay and we have seen the example of uh, apache web server and nginx as well in the previous sessions how we can pull the images from the hub docker hub and then how we can extend the image with our own contents and then how we can run the extended image containers right so now here what we will do we will pull the weblogic image from the container registry of oracle okay and then we will simply start up the admin server container okay here we are not going to build any docker file the reason is that the image that we are going to extract or pull from the oracle container it has already inbuilt all the scripts that is required to create an empty domain with only admin server right so that is a pre-built image with all the content so we will just pull the image from the oracle container registry and then we will start the admin server container and in next subsequent sessions we will extend this uh, exercise where we will create our own docker file and then we will download the software and then we will create our own images and then we will start the admin server or manage server containers okay but as, as a beginner the first exercise that you have to perform is to you have to understand how we can start stop the services how we can pull the containers and then what is the logic of that one when we run the admin server container what is the command for that one what are the parameters that we pass to that particular command right so this is the exercise that will perform we'll go to the container registry of oracle then we'll look for the base image that we are going to download and from the host we will log in and then we will pull the image right after that we will start our admin server container so this is the command to start the admin server container and this i am going to explain you in the next few minutes okay and then we'll check the status of our docker and then we'll see the logs and then we'll access the admin server console as well right this is we are going to perform in this exercise so let me see if my machine is up or not right so my machine is up and running and there is a public ip already assigned to this machine right so first exercise is as i said that you have to look for the image that you would like to download right and for that you have to go to the official registry and then you have to search for the particular image okay let me show you again this all these things okay so you have to log into the container hyphen registry.oracle.com if you have an account then you can simply log in okay if you do not have an account then you can create your free account okay and then you can log in right so this is my account let me log in with my account to oracle container registry okay. so once you will log in to the container registry then you will have option to search for the different images that you would like to download or pull okay and let me search for the web logic now here you will see that uh, all of the component that has the web logic as a tag now you want to download the specific web logic then <coughs> sorry you have to click on the web logic right and if you are a first time user then you have to click on the agreement if you will not click on the agreement then you will not able to pull the image okay so make sure you have clicked on the agreement and this button is green now okay and after that you can see the different product homes and then the related tags and these are tags required when you pull the images okay and once you will scroll down then you will see the command how you can log into the oracle container registry from your host and then how you can pull the image right. so pull the image the syntax is docker pull and then this is the complete path of your 
content registry of Oracle, right? And then you have to specify the colon and then tag. And this tag is this one. Next, suppose I would like to download the WebLogic 14.1.1.0 version. Then what the command I will give here is docker pull and this complete path this is the official path of the web logic in the oracle container registry and i will replace this tag with this particular tag okay so this will download the 1411 image from the oracle content registry Wait. so this is the process how you can log in and then how you can go to the host and then you can pull the image so let me show you now how you can pull the image so let me take my public ip and then the tool that i used is a secure crt for the login okay and then let me change the properties of this one and then let me change the public ip okay now let me log into my machine okay now so i'm in my machine okay and if you wanted to check the status of your docker then for that you have command system ctl and then status and then docker right so you can see that your docker is running up and running if you wanted to see the current images that you have in your local repository and for that you run the simple docker and then images or here you can see the different images that we have in your registry Neat. so you can see that i already have this 14.1.1.0 image here so what i will do is i will download the 12.2.1.4 image because i have the 12.2.1.3 image as well in my system right so i will download 12 to 1 4 image here right so what is the first option for that i have to log into the oracle container registry from my host right and for that command is this one let me give this command okay now what is saying authenticating with pre-existing credentials okay so because i have already logged in earlier as well so it has taken the authentication from that file if you will log in first time then it will prompt you for the username and password and what is the username and password whatever you have created here right on the oracle content container registry okay so now i have logged in here now what i need to do is i need to pull the image so which image i am going to pull here is as i said i am going to pull the 12214 image so let me see the tag of 12214 this is the latest build of 12214 and the tag this is the tag right so now the command is this is the command or you can as i said you can copy the command from here as well right this is the command let me copy and take it on the notepad right. so i need to replace this tag with the tag which is there right so now i'm down in 12214 so I will replace it with this particular yeah. okay and now this is my command to pull so I do not have a proper access to my list account so I will add the sudo as well and let go back and win this command okay now it will take some time and then it will show you the message pulling from middleware web logic okay and it will take some time based on the size of the image that you are going to download from the content registry okay so this is how we can download the pull the image from the pre-built registry or the inbuilt registry so apart from the docker hub and oracle there are a lot of service providers as of today those are providing the different images okay uh, for the third party software as well as for their own software they have their own registries so if you wanted to uh, pull any software for some other registries for that you have to create the account on that particular website and then look for the different images and once you will search for the images then automatically in that page you will get the command as well which is you can use to download the software as you can see here in the web logic container registry as well similarly all of the providers will give you the complete command as well how you can pull the different images using the tags right so now let us see that okay it is download completed and then it is almost finalizing the pull of the image okay now you can see that the download is completed right so now if i would like to check the image again then the process is sudo docker images okay so we have downloaded the 12214 image now you can see that we have the 12214 image already there 
right so this is the image that we have downloaded from the oracle container sorry oracle pre-built registry okay so now if you would like to check the current containers if you have any running containers in your system right from any of the images then for that we have a command which we have seen in the previous sessions as well ps hyphen okay ps hyphen a right so this will show you all the running containers that you have maybe not running okay but all of the containers those may be stopped or may be running but that you can check the status so as of now you can see the status for all is exited that means none of the containers is running in my system right so now what i am going to do i am going to start the admin server container with the help of him this image which we have downloaded okay so let me clear this first okay and let me go back so we have done this one okay so now what we have to do we have to create one file this is for the security purpose security in the sense the username and password that is required to log into your admin console okay that you can provide in a file which will be get copied to your container when you will build your final image or when you will run your admin server container okay so for that what you need to do is you can create a file anywhere suppose that i am creating in the default directory which is home ec2 user so here let me create a file boot dot properties and inside that i will write username equal to weblogic password equal to weblogic123 and let me save and come out and if you wanted to see the content again then you can check username equal to weblogic password equal to weblogic123 so when i will run the admin server container this file need to be copied inside my container right to populate my domain with this credentials right so when i am going to run my container admin server container so this is the command that i have to give and let me give a small overview of this one okay so this is the command okay so some of the argument overview i have already given you in the previous sessions okay and some of them may be covered in the next few sessions where we will discuss about the uh, docker volume as well okay but as of now what you can understand is run is the command which we can use to run the containers right hyphen d is the detach mode that means you have if you are running a command that will be if you are running a command then after the command is completed you will get on the prompt again if you will not run the hyphen detach mode that means if you will not specify hyphen d then you will always be on your standard output you will not get exited okay hyphen p is the port forwarding right because as i said that you have a lot of uh, in previous session i have said this okay that, that you have a container and the services are running inside the container on some specific port if you wanted to access the services from outside the world which is running inside the container so you have to make a port forwarding like on which port you want to access the service so here i am saying that my container service will run on 7001 which is my admin server port and again from the outer world i am going to access it on the same port okay you can use any port outside the world for 7002 7003 8001 any port whatever you want i'm using the same port and then this is the port for your admin server okay admin server port and hyphen v is a syntax for to create a volume and attach the external volume with your container that means you have a volume or a file system in your local host which you are going to attach to your container so that your files should be shareable between the containers and this we are going to explain in detail in when we will cover the volume session okay but as of now you can consider if i will give hyphen v and dollar pwd right? that means my present working directory okay then what it will do it will take this domain dot properties file in fact not domain dot properties file whatever the content i have inside my current directory this one this will be mapped to the u01 oracle properties directory inside the container right because what i need because i need this file domain dot properties file inside my container when i will run the container so that it can create a domain with that particular username and password which we have specified in this file so we have mapped our local directory to the properties directory of our container right and then with hyphen e we will give the administration port enabled equal to false so we are going to disable the administration port okay so that the url should be accessible if you will not make it false you will not able to access the admin server url okay and then we will give the name of our 
image so this is the name of our image and this is the name of our complete image which we have downloaded okay so this is this is for 4110 and now we are going to start from our 12 to 14 image so let me take uh, that name of that particular image so this is the name of my image right image name is same so i have to specify a different tag id right so let me go back and change this particular tag with the 12 to 14 tag right so now command is ready right which i am going to start my admin server container okay and let me combine this again i think p and then right and then this is hyphen b so now this is my command which is ready now okay and then let me start my admin server controller okay so now it is exited right so now i am the command prompt right so if you will not specify this hyphen d then you will not come out to the command prompt okay you will always be inside the container and once you will try to come out for the container with control c then your docker container will also get stop hence we use the detach mode okay now if you uh, want to see the status of your container that for that you can use sudo sudo docker ps hyphen a okay so now you can see that this is the our container which is running and the status you can see this is the status is up and this is the name that has been given to this particular container okay because we haven't specified the name then it take automatically okay if you want to specify the name as well for your container then one of you can add one more parameter name and then the name for your container if you will add this parameter as well then you will get a user defined name here for example here you can see that for other containers i have a name ms3 ms2 ms1 wls admin okay so here it is by default because i have not given any name okay now since my this container is up and running right and port forwarding is on 7000 port so let me try to access this particular admin server console and for that let me take my public dns of this particular is to machine let me go back and then i write the name of my dns public machine dns and then port 70 sorry port 7001 and then slash console right now you can see that you can able to access the console and this is a password username and password we have specified in the domain dot properties file right and with the help of that you can able to log into your web logic server right and here you can see the different configurations of your server and lot of things that you need to be discuss in detail once we will go back in the next sessions where we will create the custom images okay and then we will create our own domain then we will start the admin server and manage server containers as well and then lot of things will come in the picture okay that will be covered in the next sessions okay and these are the command that we have already discussed what is the command to check the status what is the command to check the logs for example you want to check the logs of this particular container admin server container right so for that you have to run the logs hyphen f and with the container name and like suppose a sudo docker and then hyphen s right and then logs and the name of your container so this is the name of our container if i specify this one okay this is not working let me see the see the syntax is i have written in the wrong order so this is docker and then okay docker logs and then hyphen f and and now you can see the logs of your admin server this is the logs of admin server where you can see the server is up and running okay due to any reasons if your container is up and running but your server didn't come up then you can run this command okay to check the status of your admin server logs what was the reason why it didn't come up okay thanks for watching this video